Hi, my name is Steven Dux. I've been known I have turned 27,000 into almost $4 million within three years. And today I'm announcing the pre-sale of the Dux Leader Guide DVD that will be including the most updated strategies and all the formula I've come up with to make your entry and exit more accurate. In this DVD, I'll be giving really specific details to help you to be able to trade in different scenarios when the trade happens in different situations. So in the general market, a lot of people are really confused that which pattern they should focus on. So in this specific guide, I'll be only giving out four to five patterns that have the highest winning percentage back in 2018 and 2019 that have made me almost $1 million throughout the year. And just in recent two years, there's a lot of volume and getting into the market, especially in NASDAQ. So I'll be focused on the NASDAQ market. There's also a bunch of details that have tuned in for different patterns. And those details will help you to increase your winning percentage significantly. So grab the supply while it lasts. This pre-sale will be the lowest price we can ever be. So in this DVD, we'll be condensed a loads of information. So make sure you review as much as you can. And I'm looking forward to see your results in the future. What's up guys, Steven Duxer. It's been crazy since last week, I think. Uh, I made around $90,000, uh, almost $90,000 on BPTH. Huge runners that have created the highest volatility for some of the tickers. Some of them went from $2 to $70 in three days. Some of them just following the hype on the simple day play. And uh, BPTH is the main one. It basically, it did a breakout on the $9 level-ish. So he ran on last week. Uh, it wasn't really tradable because the range is a little bit too big. So if you're not really sure into resistance, you can't really find where to risk for. You can risk six, you can risk nine, and that range is huge. So you can't really add into and average into it. Once it took out the line level, uh, it just basically went parabolic and people tried to short into this afternoon breakdown, but it was a short trap and it went all the way to 70. And on this specific day, if you went blindly short without any pattern, this is what you are risking of. If you don't have any risk management, you can blow up your account in an hour. And when you are going short or going long, when you are going long in the $70 area thinking it's going to go higher, then you're basically risking 50% of your entire investment. And if you hold even longer, you are losing about 60%. In this penny stock area, it contains a lot of risk, but it can also contains a lot of return. And you need to really focus on your risk before you focus on your return. As long as you can control your risk, you know what you're doing, you know what pattern you're trading, and you know the edge you're trading, then you will be able to profit from those tickers. Uh, since this is a really micro flow, and micro flow basically, if you do a flow rotation, you can do anything. Uh, that's why I didn't trade on this day when it's up. Uh, when it goes to 70, I stay out completely because it basically you're risking. Uh, even though you're going like in the 20s or in the, in the 12s, you need to sell probably into this parabolic action because the stock might get T1, T12 halted. And when it gets halted, once it opens, it basically drops about 90 to 75% in one candle. And you can't really exit up out of your positions. And that is the problem. On Friday, you bring up a bunch of sympathy plays. I think everything was out of control. It's going to trade like 100 million volume based on volume prediction. Sympathy plays are based on main trend. It is not a really a pattern. If the main trend dies, the sympathy play dies as well. If the main trend doesn't die, then the morning spec doesn't re really make sense. Now, one of the patterns that for sympathy plays is most of sympathy play, uh, they always do like a massive morning spike. Uh, so try to tend to stay away after the market opens for like 15 minutes, try to figure out what you want to do. I basically stay away from half an hour to see where the pattern is going because all the sympathy play, everybody wants to get in, everybody wants to uh, get in, I think it's the next BPTH, same thing with TNXP. And once they, once they get in, all the sympathy play all have one common uh, reaction. If they are getting chased too hard, they drop instantly about 50% or 90% of its own gain and typically getting halted as well. So getting to the backside, you don't need to be hurry. Uh, seal, inspect for like five minutes, 
and look at how much it dropped. It dropped 50% of the entire morning gap, and TNXP dropped almost 100% of its morning gap. No matter how many sympathy play you trade, there always will be the same reaction. If there's more chasers, there will be more drop. So the harder the spike, the harder the panic is. And back in 2017, 2018, I've been really trying to perfect my strategies. Uh, I think it's getting better and better. I can really well filter out the tickers that I don't want to trade. Uh, on Friday, I think there's too much going on. Uh, I only traded two tickers. Uh, I wasn't able to catch CO and TNXP, but I'm not really regretting it. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I always think if I miss this ticker, I miss so much money and I feel bad about myself. Uh, I think I want to go bigger into the next one. And I think that is the really wrong mentality to really uh, want to be consistent profitable in trading. So for the last year or two, I've been really putting together a DVD called Dax Knitter. And this DVD will be include the new strategies that really help you to be consistent profitable. And all the new strategies are all updated and involves a lot of details. As you can see in the market, over instant gap down, it needs a lot of details to, for it to be able to work. OTC breakout doesn't really happen that much anymore, so that strategy is kind of outdated, but it still kind of exists, but it doesn't really happen that often. OTC panic dip buy, nothing does not really work anymore if you track by statistics. It's going to be really, really helpful for people trying to recognize the trend, trying to filter out when there is templates on your screen and to choose which one has the highest odds. Pre-sale will be releasing on either Sunday or Monday and the DVD official release will be in the mid-June or late June. The pre-sale is going to be running for a month or two, so if you want to get the pre-sale, click the link below and it will take you straight to the pre-sale page and uh, I will see you guys next video.